Yo, what's good everyone? It's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. And I'm very happy to be making the first one of these kinds of videos in a while. Because the other day on my Twitch livestream, I managed to get back on the world record leaderboards. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how that happened and explain to you guys how I was able to get the rounds correct. But yeah, I'm super proud of this one. As you can see, I'm up to 27,000 games played now. I think I've put on around 7,000 games since I quit my job, which is quite a lot. I'm very happy with how that's going. Anyway, here we are in the VOD. Here's me from a few days ago. And yeah, let's go play by play through this record. And at the end, I'll show you where it places me on the world record sheets. Okay, so we're playing the map Arbitrary Rural World. It is a map that includes only rural locations. And after this video, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and try and get an NMPZ streak yourself. I think you'll find it's quite difficult to get the country a lot of the time on this map, which is why the world record is relatively low. Anyway, let's get into the first round here. It's looking like Russia. We have this very hazy kind of bushfire coverage. And then we have these kind of thin, like unhealthy looking trees. So I was thinking North Russia for this one, for sure. I opt for Magadan. I click where there's no coverage, but that's okay. So the next one here, we got Brazilian Sugar sugar plantations. We can see the red soil and also this crop. And these sugarcane bushes are found primarily in the state of Sao Paulo in the south and then also in the northeast of Brazil. So two separate regions by quite a long way, but they're just really common in Brazil, especially with the red soil. I opt for Sao Paulo and ends up being there. Okay, next one here immediately Mexico vibes. I mean, we've got some red brick architecture, some white brick architecture, but primarily it's this really dark volcanic soil and this kind of dark, you know, trowed fields that really look quite Mexican to me. I opt straight for Mexico here, I think. Going for Guadalajara based on that red architecture, the red brick, but it ends up being further east. So that was the first one, three countries in a row. Next one here, just a free Ghana. We've got an African gentleman here. We've got red soil and this kind of low vegetation with like kind of black tree trunks that is very typical of Ghana. Up for one of those dirt roads that are out that direction, but it ends up being an off-road of Wa. Next one here, we have all white road lines. So I'm pretty sure this would be chilly. Yeah, it kind of looks like Peru, but at the end of the day, with the all white road lines, you know, Peru would have yellow central lines. Okay, next one here, it's clearly India. We do have a white Suzuki Swift actually. <laughs> um, and we have like rice plantations here, tons of palm trees. The only country you'd be concerned about here would be Sri Lanka. But yeah, with this Google car should just be India. And I opt for the Southwest region. And it was Southwest. Southwest has tons of those palms. Okay, next one here, easiest South Africa ever. We got the yellow outer lines. We got the Gen 4 antenna. So that one makes life super simple here. I go in near Durban and it ends up being a bit further north. Next one here, we got the black Google car right here. And then we also have very Jordanian looking poles. So this one again is just a quite simple and straightforward Jordan. Definitely when you get a long streak, you do get a lot of the free rounds like that's tends to be how it is. If every single round was a tough European toss up then you wouldn't get such a streak. But uh, yeah, let's continue on here because this one is an easy Jordan. Okay, 21,000 points there. Next one here, I'm actually having to think about what this was looking back. Looks like we do have a concrete road here and a metal pole. I think with that combination, this should be somewhere in the Philippines. That combined with, I'm just refreshing the page there, how many coconut palms we have up for Philippines. Like Philippines is probably the country in the world with the most coconut palms. They're just everywhere. Those kind of big stereotypical looking uh, palm trees. Next one here, we got the white road lines with the white Google car here. That's the back of the car. So we're clearly driving the left-hand side of the road here. I just recognize this as being Malaysia, probably Borneo. I go for Sarawak here and it was Sarawak. Next one here. This one's maybe slightly more challenging. We got the black Google car again. Uh, we got this fence, which is like a very like Latin American style of fence right there. The low vegetation, no trees, just kind of feels like the south of Patagonia where you do get this kind of landscape with no trees and very dry look to it. I opt for Santa Cruz province here, I think. I sent in the guess and it was Santa Cruz right where I clicked initially, unfortunately. I, th I think it's like, when I'm playing these on stream, I'm not really going for the world record number one. I'm just trying to practice, but also I'm kind of in flow state. Like I'm not really, a lot of the things that I'm explaining to you right now do not go through my head. I'm just guessing exactly where you know, my body tells me to in a way. That's kind of interesting. But next one here is clearly Japan. We've got the low camera and, you know, I should have clicked further south with those rice crops. Like you can see them up north, but probably more common where I actually was. Next one here just looks like Poland. I'm assuming I guess Poland here. The barns are interesting. They almost feel a bit more Western European, but I guess Poland you often have generation three. You often have this kind of poor quality road. Not necessarily, like Poland can have really good roads as well. But uh, this is like a fairly typical Polish landscape, I would say. And then the trees planted on the side of the road is probably the biggest thing. Like Poland and like East Germany and Kaliningrad and these kind of places, the Prussian places, have a lot of trees planted on the side of the road like this. But you can see it in other countries. It happens a lot in like Netherlands as well. So it's not only there, but definitely common in that part of the world. I just 
immediately go for Poland here. And it was there. Okay, next one here. Immediate like Spanish vibes with the white road lines, the kind of agricultural landscape. Almost feels like Australia a lot of the time in Spain. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to slam it in. Those metal poles in the background are also common in Spain. Next one here. Um, I think this is going to be hungry. We've got a really tall pole here. Like if you just imagine like a, I don't know if you're from Europe, but if you are, if you imagine a normal European sign, it would probably be a bit lower. Like this one's just kind of tall for no reason. And that is something you particularly see over in Hungary. So I imagine I'd just go straight for Hungary here based on that. Oh, it was a Russia. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, clearly I was playing better at that time. Or was I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just North Russia here. I guess that makes sense with like the trees being a bit more sparse. Yeah, having said that, well, I was playing better when I was uh, actually in, in it and, uh, and feeling it, apparently, because, yeah, that was just uh, Russia out near Chumen, so didn't really have the right guess there. But yeah, that makes sense, and uh, I don't know. It didn't look like a Hungarian sign. I don't know. Bad guess, bad guess. Okay, next one here, Sri Lankan poles, wholly at the bottom. They're not always like that in Sri Lanka, but they often are. And then we have language as well here. Indian-looking bus, which you get in Sri Lanka as well, and it's Generation 4 camera, so it had to be Sri Lanka. Next one here, we got the Tunisian follow car, except it's ahead of us. And then olive bushes. I mean, this is like, Tunisia is like one of the easiest countries by the time you've played as many games as I have. So yeah, just a freebie there. And we get it right. Next one here, India, poor quality camera. These kind of trees, corn growing, looks Northwest to me. Let's see if I get that right. Probably Rajasthan or something like that here. These fences also really common in Rajasthan, I would say. I go for Rajasthan and it was there. Yeah. Okay. Well, not the best score because of the Russia, but moving forward here, this one's actually fairly difficult. We once again have lots of olives growing with this many olives, like especially in the background as well. I'm thinking of Spain. This could be Greece as well. Let's see. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Greece. I immediately go for Spain here, I think, because yeah, I mean, I guess the road lines just make sense for Spain as well. And it was Southern Spain there. Okay. Next one here, we've got like fairly typical, like these kind of diagonally placed insulators are quite common in British Columbia. And then I just thought with the hilly landscape and the kind of Western feel to it and the quite Northern feel to it, pretty sure I go for British Columbia here, maybe halfway up the state or the province rather. And yeah, it was actually, yeah, I would have got that right these days, I think, like <laughs> these days being a week later. But yeah, I recognize this coverage more now. Oh, but yeah, it's like kind of common around there. Next one here, double yellow lines. This one actually was a legitimately difficult round, kind of looked like Brazil, but we do have a Mexican ballad peeking out here, which is kind of like they're small and they're circular and they're concrete. And they often have these white bands around them. Very common in Mexico, unique to Mexico, but uh, like without that, I think I could have failed that round. Next one here. One of the first legitimately difficult ones uh, was the previous one. This one also somewhat so. So we have the blue car with the short antenna. And looking back on this recording, it is kind of lower quality because I got it from the Twitch VOD. So it's hard to see what the sign was. I feel like this might've been hungry. Like the vegetation with the kind of round leaves that I associate with like kind of hungry and, and further south in Europe. Like, yeah, you can kind of especially see them on this side of the screen, actually. Lots of round leaves. Nothing, no like birches, nothing that to indicate northern Europe. And then single white lines, quite common in Hungary, common around the place. But I'm pretty sure I opt for Hungary this time. Like last time was actually Russia, but let's see about that. I mean, other option, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure this was Hungary. I guess other option would be like Bulgaria or something. Kind of spent a moment deliberating on this. So let's skip forward. Okay, I do end up going for Northern Hungary there. It was just a bit further south. Good guess. Next one here, North Macedonia. So North Macedonia is stuck in generation three cameras. So you're never gonna, never gonna have gen four there. And then they also have these kind of bollards, which I think they share with Croatia has these bollards as well with the uh, kind of, they look like the standard, you know, German ones, except with a red reflector and like a small top. And so I opt for North Mass here. Pretty easy one. I spent a few extra seconds on it, but yeah, send it in there. That was a 22,000, not a bad game there. Let's head through to the next seed. Okay, back again, just like the very first round of the streak, we have this kind of bushfire-ish coverage, which is very hazy. This time feels a bit further west than the last one, where you get the very bushfire-y stuff, like out near Lensk and such towns out this way, Mirny as well. This one ends up being in Lensk, but yeah. Next one here, immediate like Bulgaria vibe, poor quality road, rusted guardrails, and this particular pole, which has like three juts, um, which is not unique to Bulgaria. There is a version of this poll which is unique to Bulgaria, but this one's like, quite common in Bulgaria and the Balkans. And so I'm probably going to opt immediately for it here, I think. And yeah, ends up being in Eastern North Bulgaria there. Next one here, just an Indonesian poll. I paused on it here. So yeah, like really thin crossbar, kind of vertical insulators, long beam to support it. Very common in Indo, single yellow line. It all just added up immediately. So I just go straight for it here. Guessing Makassar ends up being further south. We're up to 28 now. So already, I'm starting to feel the pressure a little bit here, but 
admittedly, it has been a very forgiving streak up to this point. There hasn't been too many toss-up rounds, which is what you want to see. Next one here, actually fairly difficult. We're clearly driving left-hand side of the road here based on where the car is. That's the back of the car. This one looks either like Eswatini because of the red dirt or like South Africa. I feel like this actually may have been South Africa, although, I, yeah, because I, I can't really place it in Eswatini. Normally, Eswatini, we would have a few more mountains. I feel like this... It's one of the two. I'm actually curious where I guessed here because we're on a 28 streak, so I must have deliberated a bit. I actually guessed surprisingly quickly here and South Africa indeed. And it ends up being all the way south. That's why I couldn't really remember what this was. I think very few people would get that correct. It definitely had the kind of red soil that you would associate more with the north of South Africa, but it ends up being near George. Fascinating round. Kind of lucky to have gotten away with such a like poor region guess, but at the same time, I just didn't recognize it for Eswatini and Botswana, which both have limited coverage, so you kind of get to know exactly how they look once you have so many games played like I do. But yeah, good guess there, 29 in a row by now. Easy Japan here. You know, we got that low camera and we got very blue water, which was uh, making me consider where this was. But yeah, out that direction does often have that. Next one here, we've got the Kenyan follow car. So this is a silver Toyota Fortuner. I think that's what people are saying in my TikTok. But uh, yeah, this one is like always in Kenya. Next one here, let's see what we get. Okay, this one's fairly difficult, I'm noticing. Oh, we have a huge blur here, though. So I think this was actually in Panama. Red soil, you do see quite a lot in Panama. This kind of fence where there's like these kind of puffy trees grown into the fence. You would see that in Panama, Mexico, and Colombia. But this huge blur should just be Panama out of those three. Taking a moment to consider here, looking at the blur. But yeah, definitely considering Panama the most likely. Going in. And yeah, up to this point at 32, we're nearing leaderboard status here. And we've had a very forgiving run so far. I think there's a few countries such as the, I think there's a few countries such as the Hungary I got right, such as the South Africa, which could have tripped up many good players. But apart from those, it's been relatively smooth sailing. This one's no different. We got the front of the Google car here indicating driving left. And with this landscape just has to be Australia. I'm pretty sure I guessed South Australia, but wasn't actually there. And we've got like a, like quite a, quite a rocky landscape here, which is interesting. But yeah, I opt for here and it ends up being out on the Air Peninsula in South Australia. Next one here, Holy Pole in India. Can only be found in Rajasthan basically, so easy one there. Uh, I mean, good you're up. Next one here, this is an interesting one. Where was this actually? So we got a lot of uh, rubber trees over on the right of the screen here. And then, oh, this is interesting. So it looks like Thailand. Immediate vibe is definitely Thailand. But we did actually have the pole peeking through here. I know the quality is kind of lower than I would like to show you guys here, but you can see that we again have that thin crossbar. And I just recognize this one as being much more of an Indonesian pole top than any of the others in the area. If you play more GeoGuessr at some point, or if you are an experienced player, you'll probably recognize this one. Yeah, so basically after just considering that for a moment, I was pretty happy to go Indo. And yep, there we go. We send in West Sumatra, ends up being West Kalimantan. We get 20,000 points. Next one here, we got those white road lines immediately just going Malaysia here. It was actually Borneo, but it's the same country. Next one here, this one is, okay, a legitimately difficult one. I'm pretty sure I guess Serbia here, but at 36, you don't want to see these ones. It's definitely like a, a quite an unpleasant round in a way. We can't see if there's any car meta because this is clearly the front of the car. And in generation three, the back of the car is where the car meta is in Europe with like antennas and stuff like that. Um, apart from that, we're just kind of looking at the landscape here. We have hills, we have a very faded road. Uh, road line with a few like kind of oil spill dots on it, which are really common in the Balkans, but can be found anywhere. And then it's just kind of a matter of like kind of bringing the vibes together. This is like a legitimately good guess, regardless of where it was. I'm pretty sure it was Serbia here based on what it looks like. And I actually go really quickly here. I send it in. That's actually a really surprisingly quick guess, but I was happy with that. Next one here just gives me Northeast and US vibes. They I think like, you know, the Northeast US is really beautiful during the autumn time. And so they do a lot of the coverage there for that reason. During that time, I think it's actually a legitimate meta, even across generations that you get a lot of this autumn coverage. It also appears quite a lot in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia as well. So you have to be careful of that. But uh, yeah, this one just give, gave me US vibes with how many trees they were, how dense they were. Next one here, easiest Kyrgyzstan of my life, just the white painted trees, the autumn coverage again, and the kind of hilliness of it ends up being a bit further east there. Next one here, Red Road. Short dashes on the outside, easy Sweden. No questions asked here. Has to be Sweden with that combination. And there we go. I mean, like, so for example, Estonia also does that combination with the uh, dashed line and and that and that those central lines, but they wouldn't have a red road in Estonia. Just doesn't happen. So easy one. And uh, let's head through to the next one here where we, apologies for this. We have some easy Australia here. Wait. Is this South Africa or Australia? It looks like we have the black car actually, so it should be Australia. It actually kind of look like South Africa in a way uh, with this kind of poor quality outer road. Yeah, the red soil and these trees should all add up to 
Oz. As I recall, I kind of got a bad guess here. I think I got the wrong region, but I did stop to consider just in case, just in case it would actually be elsewhere, but it ends up being Australia. I opt for this road here and it ends up being, yeah, it ends up being the same road, technically speaking, but all the way over near MacArthur there. Okay, next one here, Indonesia, Indonesian pole tops. No need to consider this any further. Uh, we're on 41 in a row at the moment. As I said, if you guys want to go and give this like a go and see how many you can get in a row, even though I'm saying a lot of these rounds are easy, like I think getting 10 in a row would be challenging for the average person without a doubt. Anyway, next one here, we got these same bollards I was talking about earlier. And again, it's generation three. So this one should be North Macedonia, just vibes as well. Well, they did the whole country during the summer for the most part. So it just has a particular vibe to it. Also guys, don't forget to hit the like if you're enjoying this video, if you're enjoying these world record attempts. I have more such videos coming. Yeah, let me know if you like it. Next one here, immediate vibe was Mexico, although this one doesn't have any immediate clues off the bat. The pole in the background is rather distant. It did remind me of more of like the crossbar style that you would get in Mexico that you just kind of pick up by osmosis by playing a lot. But I wasn't quite sure. I thought Chile was possible here, maybe even Argentina or something. I actually ended up getting a really close guess here as far as I can, as far as I remember. So first guess was just near Mexico City, again, which is trying to confirm by the trees. But then I thought maybe is this up by the border in Tijuana? We have quite a lot of barbed wire fence. Obviously, I didn't really think this is the border or anything, but uh, I do think you kind of see that in Tijuana anyway. And then the mountains being so dry was what kind of pulled me up towards Baja California, where it is one of the driest places in the world, as far as I'm concerned, one of the hottest and driest places. So yeah, it kind of made sense to me. I was thinking about further south as well, I ended up sending it in and it ends up being, yeah, just, uh, I can't see the exact kilometers because of the sub counter there, but uh, ends up being, you know, sub 30 kilometers away. So really nice guess there. Next one here, once again, Ghana. You just know the coverage. Once you play as much as me, you just know what Ghana looks like. You rarely fail it. Sometimes Nigeria can look the same, but most times it's just going to be an easy Ghana on that kind of round. Next one here, immediately into Botswana. This level of sandiness, you just wouldn't see in South Africa. Not to mention how we have the generation three camera, which is easily more common in Botswana, where it's 100% of the time, whereas in South Africa, probably like five or 10% of the time. So yeah, it just makes life nice and easy. This looks like Eastern, I mean, Western Botswana with how much white sand we have and ends up being actually in the East, kind of a rare one. Uh, next one here, this one actually did give me pause to consider because even though we have the crap cam, we also like have a very generic landscape and I was considering all three possible countries here. I was considering Cambodia, India, and Nigeria. The reason I was thinking Nigeria is because it does seem like there's almost no fences for the fields, which you do kind of get a lot in Northern Nigeria. Also, I couldn't tell if it was corn. It looks like it might be corn on the right here. I think actually it's not, but I was considering that, which is just a super common crop in the North of Nigeria. Then I was also considering India just because the trees kind of felt Indian, like the way we have these really fine little leaves, kind of dry climate trees, I think it's fair to say. And then Cambodia also felt at least possible to me, to me because we have this pink soil, which is really common in Cambodia. And on top of that, we have these kind of square fields, which is also really common in Cambodia. The way they're dividing off with trees here looks really Cambodian. In the end, I did like opt away from Cambodia just because I thought the trees didn't really feel tropical enough in a way. And also I thought maybe the fields would be a bit smaller there. And also this kind of random tree in the middle of the field, while it could be Cambodian, it just didn't feel Cambodian to me, but then I still was really considering Nigeria. And I just thought there are probably more places in India that look like this than Nigeria. Also, I thought this is probably actually sugar rather than corn, which would also probably lead me away from Nigeria, especially that Northern region, which would look like this. So actually legitimately difficult one. I was not expecting it to be so hard when I loaded in because I immediately just thought, okay, this is Nigeria. But after some deliberation, I end up going into the map and guessing India and it ends up being correct. That was a really good one. Was super happy with that. 47 countries in a row by now. And we have a relatively straightforward Indonesia. I don't even need to show you the right hand side of the screen because the left hand side solves it. We got red soil here and then we got this tiled roof. Wait, we got this tin roof with tiles on the kind of, what would you say, like on the edges here. So on the front edge of the shape and the top edge of the shape here, we have actual tiles. This architecture is really common in South Sumatra, but particularly on the islands of Bangka and Belitung, which are these two here. Uh, not to mention the white Guwaka, it all checks out here and it ends up being actually on the Batam Islands, which is another place where it's common. Looking back, I still thought it was here. So that explains my guess there, but I guess, but uh, yeah, ends up being in Indonesia. It was never gonna be anywhere else with that architecture, which is a good thing to know. Our next one here, we have the Mongolian car. That was gonna get me to 49 countries in a row. 
very pleased about that, obviously. And the next one here, okay, we were on 49, which I can reveal to you is a significant number in terms of where the leaderboards sit. We had a very, very difficult European round here, which as you can see is not something I was looking too pleased about here as I loaded in. Let's see like what I was saying, because I was playing copyright music. This is why I'm explaining it back. But basically at this point, we got the very pale soil. We've got hedgerows of some kind. You can see it's like kind of a different looking hedgerow, but definitely here we have some hedgerow action. Uh, we have like some ditches on the side of the road, which is something highly associated with France and Belgium, but which you can see anywhere, of course. Next one, we had like a pretty big field in the background. We have no infrastructure to go off of apart from the ditches and the road width. Yeah, then it's basically guessing off the coverage, the generation two winter, and then just the way it looks. So ultimately after quite a lot of deliberation here, I end up being between Belgium and France because of these ditches. Ultimately with the generation two winter, France is just a bit more common and probably as a country also with quite a few more hedgerows. So even though the road with the ditches does feel a little more Belgian than French, I opt for France. And so in goes the guess, I guess central here and it ends up being on the West Coast, actually. Interesting one, I was very pleased with that indeed. We made it to 50, which is definitely by far and away my highest ever streak on this map. And uh, something worth noting, like a lot of people who get records on this map, I feel play the map a lot. It's not actually a map I play a lot, which I think I'm extra proud about how this went for that reason. Anyway, next one here, we have these kind of square, kind of concrete Soviet style poles, uh, and we have the short antenna. So this one, the options in my head were Lithuania, Russia, and Ukraine. The short antenna makes definitely Ukraine quite a bit less likely because the short antenna is pretty rare there. Uh, and then, so I was kind of between Russia and Lithuania here. I thought I saw some Cyrillic. It was really hard to make out this sign, but it looked more like Cyrillic like from the outline to me. And then at that point, I was pretty satisfied that this was most likely to be Russia. And despite that, it did have some Baltic vibes. So I end up going in here near St. Petersburg and it ends up being Novgorod there and Novgorod Oblast. So we're pretty close indeed. It's a really good guess. And we head through to the next round here. Now I'm looking for the copyright here because I definitely got like a Germany slash Austria vibe from the way this road is like maintained where they do these kind of like long rectangular strips of kind of like new road. So I think this is really common in yeah, like Germany, Austria and Poland and Western Poland um, and particularly Germany and Austria. And I'm pretty sure this is 2022 copyright, which would make of course Germany impossible. There were other options here for sure. I could see this being Hungary. I could see it being Slovenia, uh, perhaps even France, but uh, I just, pretty much considered Austria easily most likely with this road quality. And so in goes the guess here. Let's see if I was correct about that. Indeed I was, there we go. Okay, we're on 52 countries in a row now. Next one here, we have the black and yellow chevrons with the white signpost. That combination would pretty much put you in Brazil because these black and yellow chevrons are only pretty much elsewhere found in Europe. Obviously there's the connection there between Brazil and Portugal. Then there's also Iceland that use them, Ireland, Republic of Ireland, and a couple of other countries as well. But yeah, I mean, this is just like Southern Brazil because we've got like kind of this very neat fence painted house kind of feels almost like a, a little bit, uh, you know, Germanic style in terms of the wooden planks. And then we do actually see some piranha pines in the background here. Not sure if I saw that while I was playing, but everything is highly satisfactory for Brazil, not to mention the pole in the background. Go for Santa Catarina, was actually there. That's where the German architecture is. And then we get a very difficult one on 53 here. So we are immediately looking at a very like kind of white sandy, but mixed in with red dirt road here. We don't have any pole, but we have like a wires here. So that's use useful slash interesting. It's very tropical, long grass. We're clearly in the middle of nowhere here. And immediately my vibes were this. It's Brazil, it's Cambodia, it's possibly Thailand or possibly somewhere else in Latin America. With this level of red soil, I mean, Cambodia and Brazil really do come to mind. And then I was thinking maybe initially I had much more of a Southeast Asian vibe because we do actually have like some kind of a oil palm looking tree peeking out here, also here as well, but yeah, it's really difficult to say. But then also this tree here really gave me kind of like a Latin American vibe. It almost looked like the kind of tree you sometimes see in Colombia. The soil here was a bit too red for Colombia. It looked too Amazon rainforest, but also, yeah, the, the soil just being a bit too red for the Colombian part of it. Um, And it, it felt a bit too wild in a way that you normally get in either Brazil or Peru, I would say. Then also just the, the vibes of it, like kind of did give the kind of vibes you get in Eastern or Northern Cambodia. So that was really 
really the 50-50 here. I was pretty certain it was one of the two countries and I just had to make the right call at the end of the day on 53 in a row. The pressure really mounts, you know, it is actually harder to make rational decisions, but let's see where I went. And so I go into the map here and I just thought, you know, that tree, it looks, it looks too Latin American. So I opt for Brazil here in the Amazon rainforest. It was in the state of Acre there, right on the border with Peru and Bolivia. And we get the country correct. And we're greeted with a United States, Canada 50-50 here. So we have the light blue car here. We had 2023 copyright as I recall. And we have a dirt road kind of snaking with a, with a lake. This one to me, immediately I knew the region. Immediately I knew it has to be like Saskatchewan, Manitoba, North Dakota, South Dakota, perhaps Nebraska. That would even be pushing it. It had to be like one of those four uh, subdivisions in my opinion. Basically, I immediately liked Canada better, uh, especially with this kind of colder looking vegetation. But the longer I looked, the more I thought this is like true 50-50. Like the, the North and South Dakota idea is quite quite likely as well. It was 2023 copyrights. So that means it's probably newer coverage. And I just feel like this kind of dirt road is really commonly covered newly in US, whereas Canada, they did these dirt roads in generation four a lot, you know, prior to 2023. So you can see there, just considering Sask, North and South Dakota, especially because 2023 copyright is quite rare in Manitoba. And anyway, let's skip forward to my decision here. I end up opting for the Dakota side. I just thought it's somewhat more likely here with the bent road, especially. And it ends up being in Saskatchewan. I think actually, if I was just insta sending, I would have gone Canada. I would have got correct. You kind of psych yourself out when you're on such a high streak. But guys, let's see where that places us on the leaderboards. Okay, so we come here to no moving, panning or zooming streaks. And we go down to solo and arbitrary rural world. Now, Shimmy holds an incredible 85 in a row. Now, who knows how long I could have gone. But regardless, we were definitely far from Shimmy's 85. We did, however, eclipse Jeef, who, by the way, is the Bulgarian player with 44,000 completed games. So much more than my 27,000. He got a 50 streak here. We managed to knock him off there, which is fantastic. And we end up with a 54 streak of our own, placing us in third place. Now, as I said, I'm pretty sure these two play a lot more of this map than I do. So I'm pretty happy with a 54, especially because I wasn't even going for the world record necessarily. I was just playing on stream. All in all, I'm super happy with how this streak went. I think my level of GeoGuessr at the moment is drastically improving and uh, I can keep up with the best in the world. That's without a doubt. So guys, I would say thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. If you give this map a go, maybe do and come back and comment and see how you find it because I don't want to blow my own trumpet here or pros trumpets, but the, it is harder than it looks to get such a streak. Um, it's so easy to lose these 50-50s. And so, especially like the Serbia round, the Hungary round, the South Africa round, ones like that really define a streak. And I was very happy to have some of those harder 50-50s to overcome. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time and goodbye.